guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel so today we're going to do a ballad design hack I don't know if you know but like this is one of my favorite companies to shop from but some of the things that they offer is like out of my price range <laughs> to show you how to get this look for less. This rod can actually be found in multiple finishes. It comes in black, pewter, brass, polished nickel, and bronze. The tutorial for today's DIY is going to be my attempt to get this look in a brass or antique gold look. So let's get into it. First thing that we're going to need are the acrylic rods. After our bracket system, we're going to use two versions of gold spray paint. Then we're going to use a product called Wax Rub and Buff for the actual coloring of the brackets. We're going to use a rag to apply the rub and buff, so that's why I've added a rag there. Next, of course, we're going to need our metal rings, and then we're going to need those end caps that go at the end of the rods. I have already spray painted the middle mounting bracket, and now I've applied a dab of rub and buff to the bracket. First thing I like to do is take a paper towel and just kind of dab it on at first, and you'll notice that it has been spray painted that gold color, and then I rub it on. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Rub and buff will not adhere to a surface that has not been primed. As I stated earlier, rub and buff will not adhere to a surface that has not been primed. I'm not using a primer for this priming. I'm actually using the gold spray paint so that if any of the rub and buff does not adhere, it will still have that gold finish underneath. So I'm continuing the same process with the rub and buff, except this time I'm doing this to the end caps that will go on the acrylic rods. I want the end caps to have the same finish as the mounting brackets for a very cohesive look. I spray painted the drapery rings, however, I did not rub and buff those rings. To save myself a lot of time, I also could have simply purchased gold colored rings. I know you all have heard the saying, measure twice and cut once. I am creating a template for precise hanging that can be used on all six windows when I pre-drill my holes. This template has to be approximately eight inches above the window to achieve the perfect height for my curtains. My curtains are 96 inches long. After I cut off the excess, then I turn the template in order to get the proper height. Instead of measuring where I think the hole should go, I'm going to actually use the mounting bracket for the exact placement of the holes. And there you have it, a precise template for hanging the curtains. So, I have hung the curtains and this is the end result. If you ask me, I think it came out pretty nice. So let's 
get into the cost of this look. I bought the acrylic rods at a local store, so I spent $133.48. I purchased the middle mounting brackets from a store on Amazon and I spent $40.20. The rub and buff that I used to get a more shiny anti-gold look, I purchased that on Amazon as well and I spent $6.94. The plastic end caps were $3.64. Gold paint, bronze paint, each of those were $6.94. The drapery rings, which I purchased in black, but honestly, to save time and money, I could have just purchased those in a brass or an antique gold. I spent $21.21 and .21, a whole lot of extra time that really didn't need to be spent. So, the total for this project was $219.15. I know what you may be thinking, $219.15 for some curtain rods? But yes, the look is so luxurious. And to be honest, I really just couldn't see myself paying $537 just for the rods and hardware. In order to get the drapery rings, that would have been an extra $81 which would have brought my total to well over $600. So for my investment of $219 and then the beautiful look, I think that was money well spent. Thank you for joining me for this Ballard Designs design hack. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like more inexpensive design inspiration. Remember, new content is uploaded weekly on Thursday so that you can spend your weekends with Winnie. Bye.